So we're going to do some pails and rails for ankle dorsiflexion. So the ability to bring the shin towards the foot, which is really important for almost every activity that we do, whether squatting, running, hiking up hills where that dorsiflexion is taxed even more, um, any kind of sporting activity. We want to make sure that we have good mobility through our ankles to take that load off the knee and all the way up the chain. All right, so we'll often see a big difference between passive range of motion and active range of motion. So active being the ability for our muscles to control that movement against gravity. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start in this kind of uh, half kneeling position. You can also go into a bit of a lunge to get this movement. And what you're going to do is try and pull yourself into as much dorsiflexion as you can passively. Okay, so we're going to start at our passive end range. So if I'm in this lunge position, I can use my elbow to get myself further, or I can scooch up, if I'm doing this leg, I can scooch up to make sure I'm at end range here. Okay, from this position, I'm going to do my pails portion first, so I'm going to contract all the muscles on the back of the, uh, the calf here, okay? I'm going to push my foot into the ground like a gas pedal, so I'm going to push, 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 as hard as I can, I'm pushing down into the ground, careful not to lift the heel. And then my rails contraction, I'm going to try and lift my foot to my shin. At the same time, I'm bringing my shin towards my foot. Okay, so I'm contracting all the tissue here to try and lift that foot off the ground, try to bring my shin towards my foot. So I'm not extending from the toes. I'm trying to lift the foot, keeping the heel on the ground, so the front of the foot. Okay, you're going to complete that a few times. If you want to add a little bit of traction, you can use a band. So these are those uh, pull-up bands. And place it just around the back of your ankle here. You can pull back so that you're getting a little bit of traction there. You're helping glide that tibia forward. And then same thing. So I'm in here, past the bend range, pails pushing down rails lifting up as I try to bring my shin towards my foot.